Hello guys, this is me, Archidose. So, for today, professional practice, refresher lang tayo. So, sa mga nagre-review, and also for the guys na gusto lang malaman yung kung ano bang meron sa professional practice. Okay? Tatakal natin yung meron. So, comprehensive architectural services. So, ito yung may, may anim. Anim na saklaw. Anim na parte sa loob ng comprehensive architectural services. Ito yung pinang services ng lahat na meron sa architecture. So, first is the pre-design services. Mm, so, may mga may nakapalog doon pag pre-design services masasabi natin nandoon yung consultation of course pag nagpapakonsult ka sa architects pre-feasibility studies feasibility studies diba? ito yung parang kung tayo ay may business kailangan din natin ng feasibility studies kung naayon ba doon sa isang lugar diba? kung magigibong ba yung project or dapat ba talaga na dapat doon kayo. So, site selection and analysis. <clears throat> Dito papasok <clears throat> yung pagpili natin ng site. Okay? Kung, kanyari, kapag gagawa tayo ng hospital, dito ba sa lugar na to ay eh, naghahanap ng ganong klaseng hospital? Kailangan ba talaga nila? So, kailangan lahat ng analysis na doon. <clears throat> yung utilities, if available ba, power, or water supplies, um, like um, orientations, anything, uh, fault line, nakalagay ba siya sa fault line, etc. Site utilization and land use studies, ito naman, then yung CLUP papasok na studies, okay? Yung land use, like may mga zoning, institutional, commercial area, and residential area, industrial area, etc. So, architectural research, architectural programming. Pag sinabi ng research and programming, nandito yung mga spaces, okay? Spaces, dun mag, dun papasok yung spaces, yung sizes, na dapat, na dapat ba, na ganito yung laki ng space kaya pa kanyang i-accommodate lahat ng nangangailangan o yung user ng building. And space planning, syempre kailangan yan, space planning. Space management studies, value management, design brief preparation and profit, pro, pro, uh, promotional services. Check. Okay. Sa design services naman, meron tayong phases of regular services, project definition phase, schematic design phase, and design development phase, contract document phase, bidding phase, and construction phase. Phases of regular services and project definition phase. Ito alamin mo kung anong klaseng project unang-una. Kung ano ang project, schematic design phase, yung magiging um, design or parang bubble diagram or pagkakasunod-sunod ng facilities, areas, design development, phase, dito lalo papasok ko yung, yung concept and then yung design development from the concept to the actual or mismo 3D. Okay? Contract document phase between owner and the architect bidding phase, ito yung may mga magpapasang bidders na iba-ibang contractors, mga ganun. Uh, magbibigay sila pa, babaan ng presyo. Siyempre, depende rin yun kung sino yung gusto ng mismo client o ng owner. Construction phase, ito na yung mismo execution phase or ginagawa, tinatayo na lahat. Okay. Specialized allied, marami to specialized, of course, mga allied ng architecture. 
interior acoustic sa ano noise reduction architecture and lighting layout design of course mga ilaw mga ilaw site development the whole development in the site okay to magiging itsura niya ng buo kasama yung structure and then the environment yung mismong paligid ng structure planning services, site and physical planning services, historic heritage, conservation and planning. Siyempre, may mga, mga historical uh, historical time places or historical buildings. Nire-restore yun. Um, kinoconserve. Binabalik sa dati kung ano meron. Kung ano itsura niya dati. As hanggat kaya pang i-conserve, kailangan maibalik sa dating itsura niya. Ito yun, pumapasok yung historic and heritage cons- conservation and planning. Security and evaluation planning, building system design, facilities maintenance support. Of course, every building merong facilities maintenance yan. May architect pa rin yan. Nag-check pa rin. Okay, may maintenance. Building testing and commission, building environment, certification forensic architecture, building appraisal, preliminary services, post design, structural concepts, uh, conceptualization, contract document, management of architecture, uh, practice, dispute, avoidance, and resolution, architectural research method, RM, special building, facility planning and design, building components. So, construction services. Meron tayong full-time supervision to construction management. Okay? Sa post-construction services, meron naman tayong building facilities administration. Meron dong building maintenance, ground landscaping supervision, building equipment maintenance, business development and management. Okay? Just like kanina, may building maintenance. Meron yun. Facilities, may maintenance pa rin yun. Meron at meron pa rin. Post-construction evaluation and design-build services. Like yung sa mga bahay, design-build yan. Design-build services, a service by administration, design-build service, and guaranteed money, maximum cost. So, punta tayo sa schedule minimum basic fees ng bawat project classification. Ng mga bahay, et cetera, ganyan. Ano ba ang presyuhan ng madalas sa mga architect sa mga ganyang klase ng mga buildings? Um, group 1 first. Ano ba yung mga saklaw ng group 1? Nandun yung armories, bakeries, farm structures, freight, facilities, okay? Hangars, sa mga aeroplano. Industrial buildings, okay? Ano yan? Manufacturing or industrial plants, mga factory, ganyan. Packaging and processing plants, parking structures, ganyan. Printing plants, public markets, ganyan, mga palengke. Service garage, simple loft type structure, warehouses, okay. So, basic finon na ina-apply dun sa mga group 1 na nasabi ko kanina, 6% ng project construction cost. Yeah, for 50 million or less. Okay, 6%. Pag 50 million or less. Pag group 2 naman, ano ba mga group 2 na? Art galleries, banks, financial institutions, bowling alleys, churches, religious facilities, city hall, college buildings, convent, monasteries, etc. Courthouses, dormitories, exhibitions, halls, display structures, fire station, laundry, yeah. libraries, motels and portals, monastery story, okay, nursing home, office buildings, parks, open air recreation and facilities, fire station, post office, private clubs, publishing plants, waste truck, restaurant, retail stores, schools, shopping centers, specialty shops, supermarkets, welfare buildings. Okay? 7%. 7% naman yun. Yung project construction cost, again, 7% naman. For 50 million or less. 
7%. Pag group 3 naman, pag sabing group 3 na, Aquaria, Atomic Facilities, Auditoria, Breweries, Cold Storage Facilities, Communication Buildings, Convention Halls, Gymnasium, Hospitals, Medicals, yung mga Institutional Buildings, Hotels, Laboratories, Marinas, Medical Office and Facilities Clinic, Mental Institution, Mortuaries, Observation, uh, Observatories, Public Health Centers, Center Facilities, Stadia, Theaters, and mostly Institutional, so mostly. 8% by project construction cost for 50 million or less. Pag group 4 naman, mga residences, okay, group 4, single detach or duplex is small apartment. So, kung magpapagawa ka ng bahay, 10% yun, okay? 10% ang presyuhan ng architect sa kanilang fee, basic fee nila, okay? 10% of the project construction cost. So, yes, sabihin na natin 10 million. 10 million ang project construction cost. So, magkano ang mapupunta sa architect? 1 million. 10%. Okay? Group 5. Ang group 5 naman, yung mga mausoleums, memorials, monuments, expositions, Fair buildings, yan. museum, or like specialized decorative buildings, 12% ng project construction cost. Pag group 6, repetitive construction of buildings. Repetitive, mga ano, pare-parehas lang yung itsura. Hmm? First structure is minimum basic fee. Second, 80%. Yung pangalawang yung, ano, structure na Third, 60% of basic fee and fourth, 40%. Okay? Um, let's say, um, yung mga um, camellia. Yan. Yung isang design, first structure, basic fee. Okay? Second, 80. 40, no, no. And then, succeeding na yung 40%, okay? Succeeding. So, group 7 naman, pag sinabi mong group 7, ito naman yung housing projects, several units in single site. Uh, yung isa din, para din siyang camellia. No? Pero housing project naman siya, housing project. So, first unit is 10%. 2 to 10 units fee is fee of 1 unit, yung 10%, plus 60% for each, okay? So, 11 up is fee of 10, yung 10 piraso, plus 30% for each additional, okay? Pag group 8 naman, ano yung group 8? Uh, ito naman yung involving extensive detail. Talaga ng furniture design, built-in equipment, special fittings, screen, counters, interiors, and other detailed part of appurtenances of building structure. And landscaping also, tama din doon. Mm, um, 15% naman siya ng project construction cost. So, group 9 naman, um, alterations and additions of existing structures belong to group 1 to 5. Okay? Ano naman siya yung tagdagan or babaguhin? Ganon. So, 150% of project construction cost yung basic fee. So, group 10, ito naman yung mga opinions, advices, clarification or explanation or technical matters pertaining to the profession, okay? Consultation, ganyan. Advice, kung magiging ka advice sa architect or anything, opinions nila, diba? So, per hour is 200. 
for technical matters. For 500 naman per hour. As expert witness naman. Okay. So, and that's all. And thank you. Sana natunungan ko kayo ng kahit pa paano. Thank you guys. Okay.